All right, what's going on guys? Your man Todd from FaceTime with Todd Warden. I am here on location in Newtown, Connecticut for the world premiere of the wedding pack, Baby Pack, starring Haley Duff. We have a whole great cast that's gonna be following us today here on the red carpet. And of course, I'm doing it in the dark right now because I forgot to do the intro during the daytime. So that's why I'm doing it in the dark. But I'm gonna bring you all the highlights, I'm gonna bring you all the interviews, and I'm gonna be right back on the red carpet with my first guest. All right, what's going on, guys? So tonight we are on the red carpet, and I got to speak to the writer director first. This is Matt Berman of the Wedding Pad. Matt, how you doing, man? How you doing? Great, to, great to have you here tonight. Yeah, you too, man. You too, of course, you too. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this has obviously been in the works for a while. COVID and everything stopped production on a lot of things. But let me ask you behind the story. This is a different take on a wedding pack. I mean, this is something where attorneys that are brother and sister are fighting each other out. You got courts that are debating, is this a real case or is this a joke? And then you got a mother who just lost a husband and then she turns around to find out that the husband's mom, who she thought would be a mother-in-law, is suing her for the custody of a kid that's not even born yet. Where did you come up with this storyline? You know, it was one of those things where when I did the first movie, it ended up happily ever after. And then I started thinking, well, what if happily ever after didn't quite turn out that way? And then it was, I came up with this idea for this lawsuit because it was kind of a shot at some of these frivolous lawsuits that you see all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, because she has a line in the movie where he, she goes, he says, to the, the brother says to the sister, there's no way that anyone's going to going to do this. Right. And she says, "You times have changed. Courts will listen to anything. Doesn't mean they're going to rule in your favor, but they'll listen to anything today. And that's kind of how it how it uh, evolved. Yeah, and I'll tell you something. I think a lot of people look for a lot better storylines. And I think there's a great storyline. I think everybody here tonight is going to enjoy this. And you have a great, great cast. Now, how did you come about casting some of these great members from Quentin Aaron to obviously Haley Duff? Well, what did you, you come know, out with that? I mean, Haley's, you know, unbelievable. You know, Quentin, I called call him on the phone, sent him the script. They all love the script. That was the key. You know, it starts from the script, and then you talk about it, and getting Connor Chenier. I'm a huge Star Trek fan, so I got him from Enterprise. And uh, Chase Masterson from Deep Space Nine. And as you can see, look, the love, they're all hugging each other over there right now, the cast and everybody. So, uh, yeah, it's just real exciting, and everybody had a great time on it. And they believe in the characters, and they believe in doing really good work, and they like the writing. And, you know, they're actors. That's what they do. They're not just stars. They want to, you know, hone their craft and do something that they, that they like, and that seems to, to be what happened. You know what the best part about it is, even though it technically is not your hometown, you grew up not too far from here. So how special is this to bring us back to Connecticut? It's the best. I mean, to bring this back to Connecticut, I grew up in Brantford my whole life. To bring this back to Connecticut, to see all these people being a part of something special that they don't get to do a lot. You know, a lot of times it happens in L.A., everybody's kind of used to it. Here it's like a special night for people. And, you know, have them come out and share this with them. And I'm really confident in the movie. I think it's really, really good. And I think they're going to love it. Well, I'm going to love it. I think everybody else is going to love it. And then we can't wait to see it. So, guys, we're on the red carpet. That's right. Check it out with Matt Berman, writer-director. How you doing, gorgeous? Well, hungry all the time. And I'm tired and stressed out and moody. Oh, and I'm pregnant with my dead husband's baby. How you doing? All right, so we're back on the red carpet with Haley Duff, the star of the movie. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So i got to ask you, what did you think about this role coming into the, the sequel? And it's a different take. I mean, I don't think this is anything a woman could ever prepare themselves for. That, right, that your husband who just passed and then the mother-in-law-to-be well, who already was, is now suing you for custody. How did you really prep for this role? There had to be a, a, like a huge emotional roller coaster coming to this. You know, I think um, going into the sequel, of, you know, first of all, it's such a special thing to get to continue telling a story yeah. like this, especially so many years later. I don't think any of us thought we would get to do this. So we were so excited to get to come back for another one. But um, especially, the blend of like drama and comedy in this makes us really unique yeah. and um, as a woman and, and also as a mom I have two kids of my own mm -hmm. I look at Elizabeth's story and I think like what a difficult position to find yourself in right. but also I look at the positive side of it too and I think she's so lucky she, she finds herself surrounded by like so many amazing people in this story and she finds like this crazy guy <laughs> like she finds <laughs> She finds love and support from people that she didn't expect. And I think that the first movie ended with this really happily ever after moment. And then we find her years later, sort of in like the worst 
moment, she, you know, she should be in the happiest place of her life having her first baby and then she finds herself in like the worst possible situation. And I think this is just a reminder to us that we need to rely on our family and our friends to get us through those tough times and that you never really know who's going to like step to the forefront and be there for you. Yeah, and I agree with you 100%. I mean, I love the fact that if you want to do an analogy, COVID played the same part where at the end of the day, we have to really realize how important our family and friends are. Yeah. And in this movie, your friends from Quentin, who played a florist, who owned, he came to your rescue and everybody else has showed love. And sometimes you have to go back home to appreciate what home was all about. What do you think well, about that? that? In the pandemic, I, you know, in the middle of the pandemic, I moved home to Austin. I moved back to Texas, and I feel like we do tend to do that sometimes when things are difficult or things are hard, as we go back to those like little comfortable places. You know, and I love Quentin's character so much because he comes out of nowhere in the story, and he's her friend, her friend from high school, and he ends up being this extremely important person in her life, getting her through you know, the most difficult thing she'll probably ever go through, and she never would have guessed in a million years it would be him. Yep. And I agree with you on that. Guys, take it from me, not only did she kill this role, but you definitely played a part that I think a lot of people go look up to you because there's always hope at the end of the rainbow, and I think this movie's gonna show that, and I think everybody out there's gonna love it when it comes out on June 14th. So guys, yes, of course, and this is Haley Duff right now on the wedding pack here on the red carpet on FaceTime with Todd Wharton. Anything I can do to help? Yeah, I, I need a job. You're hired. All right, so of course, we're back on the red carpet. And I'm here with Sandra Bullock. Hey, oh, my bad, man. I'm sorry. You know what I'm talking about. This is my bad, Quentin I Aaron. I was going to own it. Sandra's fine. Hold up. Oh, I know, but no, you know what's <laughs> fine? Check this out, man. Uh, you know. This is a blinged out Timex. You know, it's just how I do things. It's just how I do This guy is Casio bling to it. Let me tell you something, man. Your character, you own the floors with your dad. When your homegirls come back home, how is that character to prep for to really be the friend that everybody hopes for when they're going through their time in need? Oh uh, man, it's just about being supportive. Uh, I'm, I relate a lot to the character in this film because I am a very uh, supportive guy. I know it's and crazy. Oh wait, this is actually a live interview. <laughs> where where it is? Where, where? Oh, this is working. This is so, working. Yeah, this is working. This so, is working so, so we're much. We're just talking about how I get to beat this guy up in the film. No, I'm just playing. Anyways, exactly. Like, no, um, it's, it works a lot because I, I get to be supportive like I am in real life. Yes. And um, you know, it's a, uh, it's it's cool. One of many. This is my first rom com. Uh, it's not gonna be my last. Uh, Love yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Saying, I get to make people laugh in here. And that's know, the whole point, right? Guy. Making people laugh. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we're doing on the red carpet. We're not doing Q&As. We're no. having conversations. Exactly. We're getting to know each other. Knowing each we want to know what a 1942 is for this five and a half hour movie that you just screw me in on. We got, yeah, exactly. Director's cut. Exactly. Wait, we'll director's cut. cut. Yeah, man. But it was a great role that you play, and we love that we got another guy that's coming back in here. This is Mike. Mr. Gulaf. Mike Gulaf. It's not related to like goulash, right? Like the stew, nothing like that. Just got to make sure, man, because, you know, I got to cut some copyrights and stuff on the red carpet right now. He never even, I mean, he's from Indiana. He'd never even heard the word Connecticut before this. It's not true. I've done work. No. Yeah, obviously. But <laughs> we're in Connecticut? Yo, man, I thought we were in like Iowa. Oh, then I got to talk to the airlines because... They overcharged me on the trip. The last time we did it, Tom. Is this, is this on? Is it on? The last time we did it, we were in uh, we were in Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun. Connecticut's one of my. I have a lot of friends that are from here, and we just got lucky this time. We got to go to Windsor. Where are we at right now? We're in um, Newtown. 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 Oh, so is, is, is Where's Marianne? Newtown, at? Marianne's around here somewhere. It was Old it's Town, Newtown? but since oh, okay, we cool. here, it's the Newtown. It was old town, but now we're in New We're town. representing. Nice, there we go. Connecticut is basically, I mean, we got 50 of them, but it's up there. It's one of our favorite states. Exactly, and I think it's great. And I have to have what you're having. You look like you're having a good time. And also, we're doing a spinoff. Uh, it's me and Quentin. Uh, we're lovers in we're the next one. It's Wedding Pack 3. We actually adopt uh, a child from, uh, from Newtown. That's... That's how we're getting the money out of the next one. Yeah. So me and Quentin adopt, and it's all about, we have a very tumultuous relationship, exactly. and uh, that's Wedding Pack 3, coming soon. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I think it's great. It's going to be called Who's Your Daddy, Part 3. 
Who's your daddy? Come exactly. see it in the movie Who's theater. Who's your daddy? Rated R. Exactly, exactly. So, guys, we are back on the red carpet again, we my are. man. Now, all in all, how did you enjoy working with this great cast that you have right here? As you can see through the hysterics here on the carpet, we had a ball. We had a blast, man. It was just, you know, it's, you go to a production, you never know what you're going to get until you meet people. But it was like family. And I was only on set for four days. They worked together the whole time. Um, it happened at a time in my life where I was going through somewhere, but it, I call it, uh, working on this film, I called it a beautiful distraction. Right. Because it was, you know, I was literally just lost a relative the day before I went to L.A. to film this. So it was, you know, it was, it was amazing. And I look forward to what we what have in store for the future, you know. And I can't wait to watch this movie tonight, man. I definitely think it's a beautiful well, dude, uh -huh. see, I can't even talk. I think it's going to be a beautiful distraction. It's yeah, exactly. Ebonics is back. I'm speaking good. And I look forward to seeing this movie with you tonight, man. We're going to have a good time. You know, when, you, when you see beautiful films like this, you're going to lose your voice. You're going to lose your speech. You're going to say, oh, that's me. I didn't mean it. Exactly. You just lose your stuff like that. But it'll happen a lot. Exactly. So, guys, if you don't know, I am on the red carpet with Quentin now. I'm one of the stars of the wedding pack. So, definitely check it out on June 14th on demand, on pay per view, and on all streaming platforms. Thank you, brother, for your time. Appreciate you. you. Seems like my sister really cares about you. Well, I care about her very much. You better fix this. So, guys, we are back on the red carpet with another lovely actress, Miss Heather McComb. How are you doing tonight? I'm so good, honey. How are you doing? I am doing great. First of all, to me, you were kind of like the wise ass sidekick, <laughs> kind of bouncer, parent of your sister, and you killed this role. How did you love playing this role? Well, first of all, thank you so much. Um, I loved playing Rachel so much because I usually do a lot of dramatic roles. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and do. I'm really quirky in real life and I don't do a lot of comedy. So this for me was really fun because I got to really embrace that side of me. Yeah. And of course, Matt Berman would be the one to be like, hey, come on, we're yes. going to do a comedy. Exactly. I'm like, great, let's do it, Maddie. So we had such a great time and I... I, everybody was like, oh my God, you and Haley, you're going to love each other. You're going to be besties for life. You're going to be sisters. And anytime somebody says that, it goes, oh God, what if it's less than expectation, exactly. you know? But we, I met her and we fell in love instantly and we're truly soul sisters and I love her. And just, it was so natural for us to kind of work together in that way because that's just naturally how our chemistry was. We yeah. just got along and felt really good and comfortable with each other. And our first shot, our first thing we did was that singing scene. Yeah. That was our first scene together. So I think that just took away any inhibition and we were just like game on. Yeah, and I loved how you guys started that whole movie just like that because to me that's an icebreaker and you guys definitely hit it off. And on top of that, you were the realist in the movie. Like even though there was a lot of drama going on, your comedic presence kept it real and brought us all back to like, hey, there's gotta be at least one person even though they're funny and they're like, no, this is some bull crap going on. We need to step it up and get this done right. And even in the end, you gave her ex husband her ex fiance a <laughs> hug and you're like, yeah, nice to see you douchebag and it was just a perfect line for that so we were so that i'll tell you a little story about the douchebag line which got a huge yes. laugh tonight yes. well you know their history in the movie and everything but we were doing adr which is when you go into a studio and you either ad lib lines or you dub things that you know there was sound over um, for those that don't know that. So, you know, Matt was like, oh, so I want, I, I'm hugging Scotty here and I did it. And I was like, I said, oh, love you, buddy. And he goes, I don't know that you would say buddy. And you're like, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't say buddy. He said, so just give me three shots. Yeah. Do something new. And I was like, hey, thank you, whatever, douchebag. <laughs> so I, I'm glad I got a good laugh because it was totally ad-libbed. And that's what I love about Matt is yes. he brings that creative freedom where we feel so comfortable mm -hmm. that we can just try stuff. And yeah. look, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You, we trust him enough to know that he'll just get rid of it. Yeah, and I loved it. And I'll be honest with you. The way you guys left it off, the new baby, the new relationship she's we going really in. Want a third one. That's what I was about to say. Now, um, I don't know about anybody, but I was talking with Quentin and Scott. We were trying to talk about what the baby is growing up. Now that I find out the baby's a girl, I have no shot on being a baby. <laughs> but there is surgery I can do. 
and we can get this done. So I'm sorry I won't be in the film, but I will be here to cover it for the Baby Pack Wedding well, Pack so 3. Happy you're here, and thank you for all your love and support, man. It's awesome. Yeah, of course. And I appreciate you too. Guys, this is Heather McComb on FaceTime with Ty Warden here on the red carpet at the Wedding Pack, the Baby Pack sequel. She happened to mention the name Jake Jones. Maybe you enjoy being stood up at the altar, but you're not going to do that to me. You really going to go there? Okay, so we are right back here on Days of Our Lives, and I'm with uh, Scott Michael Campbell. Is, oh, oh, sorry. We're we're back here on on the wedding pack. Oh wait, are we live right now? <laughs> we're not on Days of Our Lives. What? No, I'm but but we're live. I'm just crashing interviews on the carpet. That's how we do. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I'm with my boy Quentin. Yeah. Just, you know, I'm with my boy Quentin. Somebody's filming us over here. Apparently, yeah. we're on Days of Our Lives. Yes. Uh, we're at wedding pack two, and it's awesome. That's exactly. right. Nice camera, by the way. And oh, yeah. uh, we're gonna go to the after party, and we're gonna we're gonna keep it real. We're gonna go, dude. There was a group of girls around here earlier looking for you. I know. They were, they were I calling know. for you. I, I was know. trying to find you. I was gonna help you out. I but. know, but they're, yeah. I, yeah. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. After party, come see. Definitely after party, Hello. coming to me. That was my man Quinn Nine. This is my boy Tom. Tom. Most people call me Tom, but he can call me Tom. I, I respond to it. Call me Scott Tom. This is my man Scott Michael Campbell. Hi, Mom. What's up, Ma? And we are on the red carpet right now. And this man played Jake. Jake had a little bit of an issue. Got left at the Jake Jones. Jake Jones. Jake Jones. Jake Jones. That's a porn name. You know that, right? Talk to Matt about it. That's what it. I was I, I saying. Told him that. I thought it was a porn name. I'll it's just call you JJ. What's happening? It's not a porn film, by the way. That's what I'm like. Yeah, I mean it is the wedding pack, and you know. Heather McComb, put your put your clothes back on. Put your clothes back on. Don't get naked. Jesus Christ, Heather McComb's literally stripping naked right now. Oh man, that's a new way of. That anyway, wait, isn't that no Star ghost, Trek we're, like we're Deep going Space to Nine? Of, uh, wedding pack two. Wedding guys pack awesome. two. Awesome, and uh, we're buying you guys drinks, by the way. The movie's great, man. Connecticut's amazing, and everybody's pretty awesome. I think they were great. I think the whole show was great. We had a comedic background from uh, Kelly. He was just throwing in uh, the kicks. There he is. Kelly was laughing in the background. It was awesome. Come on in, Kelly. This is Kelly Perrine. I love to see these guys. I, I did this much in this movie. But what Matt did and these guys, everything, I... I, I like to laugh and I enjoyed what these guys did. And man, you guys and by the way, time, thank you. Just so you know, Kelly's not even wearing pants right now. Yeah, not even. <laughs> it's crazy. Not, not even. I mean it's I mean it's impressive, but don't I'm just don't like, pan down. Don't I don't mean, pan down. Um, the after party. Yeah and I don't like crossing swords on the red carpet. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. Th thanks Kelly. Oh yeah, thank, no, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you man. You, you know, saying that and then leaving it's awesome it's bad enough i'm holding phallic symbol and now you gotta have no, no pants but man did you have a good time i had a great time man i had a great time i think everybody's gonna have a good time check it out i guarantee you june 14th on pay-per-view video on demand and all streaming platforms you gotta check out kelly and the rest of the crew on the wedding pack coming to you soon hello elizabeth Ms. Becker, what are you doing in Fort Wayne? You're filing for full custody? All right, guys, so we are back again on the red carpet with uh, lovely actress Chase Masterson. How are you doing tonight? I am well. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you, too. Now I have to ask, the role that you're playing, you're playing the mother of the son who passed away. I am. But you have to play a hard role where you have to walk up to your daughter-in-law and say, hey... You know what? My son wasn't really too fond of you being a single parent, so I'm going to file for custody. How did you prep for this type of role? Because that's crazy. You know, this kind of role that could be a villain is really important to play with love, with pure love, because everybody thinks they're the right person. Everybody thinks they're not the villain. Nobody thinks they're the bad guy. Everybody thinks that what they're doing is the right thing. And so that's where I'm coming from. I think that I should have that child because that's what my son wanted and that's what would be best for the child and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it comes across to Haley, her character, as the bad guy. But to me, I'm doing the right thing. 
and that's why it's so important to play the love. To play the love. It's so important to play the villain with love. Everybody learn that. When you're the villain, do it with love. Okay, now, in real life, how would you feel if something like this would actually would have happened to you? You know, I think the world needs empathy in a big way. And I think once we start to listen to each other and to realize that everyone is coming from their own point of view, and we may not understand it, but we have to listen in order to get anywhere, in order to be able to, com to communicate and make any change, we have to be able to let the other person say what they need it may not be what they're saying they need, but really to get to the bottom of their needs. So many people are so hungry for validation that they make the wrong choices or they commit really, really bad uh, social crimes, if I may say. Right. You know, they hurt each other because they don't feel fed. And so what's really important is for everyone to realize they have a very solid place in this world. Mm -hmm. And it's important for my character and for me and for everyone to know that no one's here to replace us. No one's here to take our jobs away. And I think that's part of the conflict in this movie is that my character feels threatened and like I won't have a place unless I fight for it. And that's not necessarily the truth. I think we can learn to get along by talking mm -hmm. and by listening to each other's needs. Well, I'd be, I'd be honest with you. I love the way you just put that. And I, th I agree with you 100%. And this movie has such dialogue and such back and forth. I think everybody's going to love your character. Thank at you. first, they may not, but I think at the end, they're going to love it. Thank you. you know? I think so, too. I think that, you know, this is a very, uh, it's a serious thing that's happening between these two women. But when you find the love, things tend to work. And I love it. When you find the love, things tend to work. Guys, I'm on the red carpet with the actress Chase Masterson. Elizabeth, so good to see you. Good to see you, too. I mean, oh, look at you. I know, look at me. All right, so we're back on a red call from my man, Kelly Perrine. How you doing, bro? Man, you know what? I am fantastic. This is the uh, second time I've been here in, 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 in Connecticut, in beautiful Newtown. I had a movie called Manipulated that I was out here about three years ago, and I'm out here to promote the amazing film Baby Packed. Uh, you know, the se the sequel to The Wedding Pack. Right. And it's just so amazing to be out here, man. The people are just so friendly. I'm, I'm, I'm just blessed to be here. Yeah, and I think you played a pretty cool role because you did play the friend, I just like Quentin Aaron did. You know, Aaron did. You know what? I you know played what I'm the friend in the F first one. Friend one, right? Friend one? Well, friend one, they call me Mr. High Quad. F High Quad. I'm not, I'm not going to go ahead and promote anything that some parents would not want their kids to do. But, you know, you know, I played Mr. High Quad, okay. who was a friend of Mitch's in the first one, who don't want to give anything away, but in the second one, I'm here to support my friend Mitch. Okay. I yeah. appreciate that, Mr. Yeah. High Quad. I don't want to give anything away, Mr. High Quad. Yeah, I'm, I'm Mr. Lo-Fi, Mr. <laughs> High Quad, so we good, we good, we good. But how'd you enjoy working with this great cast that you had the pleasure of playing in this whole movie, man. Tell you what, man, this is the second time I've worked with, you know, a, a lot of them. You know, yep. you know, Haley was fantastic. You know, you have every, you know, Scott Michael Campbell. You have Hollywood veterans, exactly. you know, folks that are on like, you know, Star Trek movies and all that. And I'm like, all right. Okay, Quentin, Quentin from, you know, the blind side. And they're like, hey, Kelly, come in here and hang out and have fun. That's right. And I'm like, you just tell me where I need to be. And the director, Matt, who's from this area, is a guy who just keeps making things happen. That's right. He does a lot of stuff, you know, in the comedy, you know, comedy genre. I did a thing called Manipulated, which was, which was, uh, which was drama. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, he just, someone who in, inspires me. Yep. And so whenever he's like, hey, come out to where I'm from, to where people that create things are from, I go, you just let me know what flights to get on and I'm here. Yep. And you want to know something? I think your character had a great comedic vibe to it because at the end of the day, every movie needs some laughter and I hey, think you killed it, bro. Yeah, I, I, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I, you know, I say I come out, they give me a few funny lines, I kill it. Um, I get a meal and I go home. <laughs> yeah, I love I, I love doing that, man. You know what I, I mean? I, yeah, you know we we we're part time lovers. We get a meal and we're then we go home. Part time lovers. Yeah, you know man. I'm a short cat. I'm not a leading man. I do some of the funny stuff. They want see. They even want me to come. They have me. They have me last because everybody's in watching <laughs> watching the movie. Kelly, the movie started. I'm like God. No, you're not last. We got a couple more to go, but me and you are about to go in there and we're going to strut down the aisle and be so like, yo, we leave the best to last. Let me tell you, 
Kid is sharp. Kid is nice. Kid is tight. And I'm trying. You know, don't laugh because everybody's out there. To, you know, Monday people are like, maybe he was right. That's we're, right. We're that's right. right. That's right. We on the red carpet right now. This is Kelly Pelim, player one and player two here on Facetime with Todd Ward. Check it. T. T. Money. T. Money. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed all these great interviews behind the scenes with me, all my guests amazing cast and guys go check this movie out june 14 video on demand pay-per-view on all streaming platforms this is your man todd warden from facetime with todd warden signing off and i will see you next time on the red carpet i'm quentin and we're uh, basically at the wedding pack 2 premiere quentin where are you from again i am from new york uh he's from new york but he's in the movie Todd just snuck in. Yeah, I was uh, I was just walking by hitching for a ride. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. We caught him at 7-Eleven. He was panhandling outside, which is fine, which Boy, we respect. Yeah. But uh, are yeah. you in the movie? Uh, I wanted to be, but I was just too pretty to okay. be in the movie. I don't know what that was all about. We don't have any I pretty... Think the, I think I'm the future kid that they don't show. That was the whole case Probably of the that's thing. That's the so that's is. where I come in for a baby. You know what? No, no kidding. Like... I, yeah. <laughs> That's Wedding Pack 3. Wedding Pack 3. Truth be told, all of the women in this film are absolutely gorgeous. That's one of them. Uh, the men, not so much. The men are just curmudgeons. But, you know. I think so. I think, uh, I think you guys did an incredible job. I was so impressed with the movie. And I'm so glad to meet you guys. Like, you're going to be my family in Baby Pack 3. You know what's so crazy is that uh, Matt Berman, our friend over here, we're seeing the director's cut tonight. Uh, the director's cut is five and a half hours long. So if anybody wants to hang out, if you can actually make it through the five and a half hour director's cut of the wedding pack. I tried to get Haley Duff and Heather McCollum to do a second interview with me, but I think they just, uh, I don't think they really like me. So I just settled for a cardboard cutout. You know, this really sucks just being on the red carpet and nobody wants to talk to me. And I'm the one on the mic and I'm here in Newtown, Connecticut. I wanted to know what it felt like to be in a picture frame. I hope you guys just enjoyed everything that I did today. I put my heart and soul into it. And I also put three shots of tequila into it as well. I'm, um, I'm going to go home and just be with myself and my thoughts. I'll see you later on the red carpet. Bye. Move side. Lady having a baby.